After one year of waiting, we finally got iOS 8 and we can download it, install it and enjoy it on older devices also. But the question always remains, how snappy and how fast would it be on our older devices? Hi, my name is Michał, I'm from Tech Test Tutorials and I would like to give you a quick look at iOS on iPhone 5 and iPad 3rd generation. Right, so let's go and check out the iPad 3 with Retina uh, first. Uh, the overall uh, interface experience is great, so it's, you can see it's like on any Apple device, almost at any time, almost. Uh, it works. It works perfect, smooth. However, there are some some moments when when you can see it. It's not super smooth. So, for example, like I make double tap and I almost managed to say half of the sentence before this came down and show up the the recents, which is one of the new features. Uh, but I guess it's. It's something that you might expect it. So, okay, if you want the fastest iPad experience or, or uh, any experience like this, you should most probably buy the new iPad and that's it. But if you are installing uh, newest iOS on, on the older device and the device that is two years old now, yes, there are some moments when you see it. It's not uh, totally bad. It's, it's, uh, I like it. I, I install it. I thought I will install it anyway. If it will be smooth or not, I just want to take a look at the new OS, how it works, how it behaves, just in order to, for example, to make the YouTube video. But then again, uh, I pretty like what I see. Um, the one thing that is great, this video is not all about the features of the new iOS, okay, you can always read it on Apple Materials app or web page, but the one thing I want to show you is how the cards are now shown in Safari. So, you can, that's the second moment when it stutters a little bit, but you can rotate and this do this pinch gesture, uh, which is awesome, it's absolutely amazing. The cards are almost shown as as uh, on iMac or, or any Mac. It's just these rows and rows of um, of these pages that you can scroll uh, through or you can dismiss one of the cards and you can open. It's great. Of course on the iOS on a, on a phone it, it looks like completely different. You got this scroll from up to down and and that's that but on the iPad first time I have to say this this update was really great there are also some other changes here and there you, you may you can take a look and and see how smooth it is uh, it's the uh, third generation iPad the first with retina and it's uh, 16 gig uh, Wi-Fi only so no 3G I will be installing uh, iOS 8 on a 32 gig uh, 3G edition, so so I will let you guys know if anything is different, but Again, I think it will be almost pretty the same the keyboard. There is no no keyboard lag issue You remember like we had by after installing iOS 7 uh, first so it works flawless, it works great, so, so you can use uh, typically, typically your keyboard and it's, it's perfectly fine. Uh, the improvements, okay, mm, you might argue about some things, whether you need them or not, but it's just something what you get for free, like you update your tablet, you are not going to get a whole uh, new tablet, but there's these are some small changes. Like for example, we had uh, we had these two buttons to to delete history and uh, web pages data. Now we've got one button to ask whether we want to to delete the data uh, or not, and it's done. So it's faster, I guess. But okay. Uh, there are some uh, some big changes when it comes to a battery. Uh, about the battery life, I haven't noticed any. It's uh, only that you get you can get now info of how much of the battery consumption has been done by each and every application. 
so so that's great you can go to usage in settings general and then take a look at the battery settings and then you will have it yeah so you can like say that the screen took uh, 34% safari 22 facebook 21 shane on me um so so that's great but there is a small issue with with those changes that i will show you on the iPhone 5 which is going to be right now okay let's take a look at the iPhone 5 and again here is the 16 gig version it's also been updated to iOS 8 uh, the installation was very smooth however it took 5.7 gigs of internal storage so that's the thing you might want to consider I had to reset the device uh, delayed all the music and blah 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 so in order just to prepare it for the download it's all went smooth, flawless, I didn't download it over the iTunes, just over the Wi-Fi in general settings, I download the update and that was it. And this device is faster than uh, iPhone, uh, than uh, third generation iPad, so it never had any issues uh, like stuttering or something, even in early days of re early releases of iOS 7. So it, it's been always great and smooth and the very same thing is up to today. And even after installation of iOS 8, you can see it's snappy, it's, it's not stuttering, it's great. Uh, the only thing that I have noticed, and this was actually a crashing issue, but it's just something that, that happens because uh, Apple have been messing something around with the battery widgets and uh, applications and frameworks and stuff. So when you have this uh, third party application for battery, it will crash. It will crash each and every time like this time. And that's something that you, that's probably normal at the moment because the, the developers will have to update their apps in order this not to occur anymore. But that's there. Uh, the phone is, the phone experience is great. It's way faster than, than as I said, the, uh, as an uh, iPad. Mm, the one thing that I've like, uh, that, that I like uh, about uh, this uh, iPad was the scrolling over the pages well on a small four inch screen that's that would be terrible so so I guess uh, this is great but as, as you can see it's snappy it's smooth it looks great it's fine it's as you might expect it um, yep and I can I can say you can install iOS 8 on iPhone 5 it's it takes a lot of place uh, for me it was 5.7 gigs uh, during the installation so okay the update is 1 gig and then it uh, it gives you the info that uh, you can't install uh, this update unless you have about for for 4 to 6 uh, in some cases gigs of free storage uh, because it has to move uh, things around a bit and that's a little bit pain in the backside but um, if you prepare your device if you if you erase all the music and if, for, for example if you have 32 or 64 gigs divide then 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 you you're good to go uh, but if you got iPhone 5c with 8 gigs uh, <laughs> Good luck, man. Uh, you will have to most probably delete everything, then update, and then you will be good to go too. But that's that's only shows how how much of a sidestep, even if not a backward step, that was for releasing the phone, that kind of phone with eight gigs of storage. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a big thumbs up. I make sure that you subscribe because I will have some more interesting stuff very soon. Thanks.